Good morning and um, welcome to this morning's Morning Thought. Uh, I'm Sophie and um, I'm one of the mates. Um, some Most of you would have met me before but for those of you who are new, hello and welcome. Um, you're very welcome here this morning. Um, I want to read for you um, Matthew 6 verses 17 to 13. When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases in the, as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. Jesus teaches us to pray. We often do not know what to pray or how to pray, especially when times are tough. The Lord's Prayer is Jesus' own prayer of hope as well as a prayer of confidence. When the worries of life close in, these well-known words serve as a compass to guide us in truth and teach us to pray with confident expectation. A friend of mine said to me earlier this week, I just don't know how to pray. I just don't know what words to put together in this situation. It gets dark when I say too much. Jesus wrote this prayer for us. As Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he was also summing up what his ministry was all about. We see his agenda for the kingdom of God that has come to earth as in heaven, which serves as an anchor and a pattern for our own lives. With this Jesus-shaped prayer, we draw near to our Father the one who cares, the one who provides, the one who protects and the one who remains deeply interested in our concerns and his purpose for us and for his church. We are assured that God is neither an unapproachable bureaucrat nor a whimsical genie. Rather, he is the creator God, the father of it all from the beginning who desires both our love and respect in worship and who longs to dwell in our midst. The day of the Lord will be when all things in creation are fully and finally put right. But until that day, we have to know that evil, sin and destructive powers are still forces that must be reckoned with in our daily lives. Our worries prompt us to pray for, a for provision, deliverance and safety in the mis middle of it all. It all begins with a hopefulness of drawing near to God in prayer as our Father and ends with the confidence of his kingdom, power and glory forever. Through saying these words of the Lord's Prayer, we declare this. We declare that we want to be in relationship with him. We declare that we are worried. We declare that we want to be part of his mission on this earth. And we declare that we know the day will come when all things are put right. Even when things are gloomy or uncertain, we can take comfort in saying this prayer that Jesus has so beautifully shaped for us.